So hello everybody, how are you today? It is time for another DAX Fridays, one DAX function every Friday. So in today's video, we're actually, I'm going to show you how to um, pivot a table and we're going to use uh, Union for that. So here's the thing, I'm, I'm going to show you how to do it in DAX and we're going to also do it in Power Query. We've been having some discussions about DAX Power Query, which one is better or certain things and we'll take that discussion at the end but to this video on pivot so this is what we have we're in power bi we have a student's uh, scores table then we have the name of the student and then we have the subjects that they took and then we have the scores for each subject so what we want to do is um, pivot that we want to have the name the subject and the score so we can easily calculate you know things the average score a max score whatever you would like so basically what we want to achieve is what you see in there. I'll show you how I did it in Power Query at the end. Don't worry. For those of you that want to do it in DAX, I'll do it right away. So this is the table. We are going to close and apply and load the table into Power Pivot and unpivot that. So how do you do it in DAX? It's actually quite, it's not complicated. It's just... I'm sh I'll show you. I'll show you and you see. First, we need to create a new table. I have no idea how to do it without new create a new table. If you knew, no, raise your hand. Let me know in the comment box, okay? So, new table. And pivot. Equal. We're going to use union. I told you already that. So, union. And we're going to select columns. We're telling the union what things we want to pick from each which from each column. So the first thing we need to do is to use select columns because we need to pick the columns and the, that is for the scores table. And now we need to give a name to each of the column that we add. So the first thing that we're going to add is the student name. Name. And then we're of course picking the name. I cannot write anymore. <laughs> Then we want to have the subject. Here's the thing, for this subject, we need to hard code it because it is on the headers of each column, we cannot pick it up, so we we're going to hard code that. So subject is going to be math for the first one, and then we are going to pick the scores for math. So uh, we go scores, and then we have uh, the scores which is for math. So it's that one. Shift enter. And now we need to do the same for every line that you want to add pivot. I told you it was not going to be pretty and it is not. Okay, shift enter. Let's copy all of them at the same time. But now we need to change that. Let's do this first because I don't remember this, the subject. And this was what? Science. So now that we have them, we can easily write here. Oh no, that, that's scores. But we need to hard code if you remember the subject. So we need to write here <laughs> English. Dear Lord. Okay, and science. And that's how you get it. But okay, this is a small table. Fine, no problem. You can do it. But oh my gosh, if you have a big table, this is a mess with a lot of values. You can do it, do it in Excel, copy it here, fine, it is possible. But now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to Power Query and let me show you why you should do these things in Power Query, okay? So if we go back, edit queries, and then we have, this is the same table. Now look at this, how <laughs> you have things in Power Query. Power Query. You pick the name of the student. You go to transform and pivot. No, oops. And um, pivot other columns because we pick the column that we want to keep. And boom. You get it in one click. And now we go here and say subject. We don't even need to add another line. Why should we do that? And then here we get score. And it took like half a second to create that. This is. You know, Power Query is a powerful language for cleaning data, while DAX is a powerful language for making calculations. So if you're cleaning data, Power Query. If you're making calculations, DAX 
do not do calculations with Power Query unless you have to. Do not do cleaning data with DAX unless you have to. Okay? We are discussing this all over the place. I still stand my ground. Learn Power Query. Amazing. Amazing. If you're a Power BI user, you have to know Power Query. Look at what you can do in just two seconds. Okay, stop preaching. Have a fantastic Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Charge the batteries and I'll see you again on Monday. Until then, bye.